Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and this is my party house. Welcome. Um, this is my well, wife over here and my daughter Sarah. Um, and over there is John. Um, John. <laughs> uh, eh, eh. <laughs> um, we're all in good spirits because the Admirals took on Bellevue, and I like playing Bellevue because uh, we don't see them a whole lot. I think it's like every couple years or so. Um, and it's always good to play teams you don't see all the time. However, also, I like seeing the same team sometimes. Like, because I like the rivalry. I like the physical, physicality and all that. This game had a little bit of both. Um... So the Admirals came into this one up after a um, big kind of stay alive win. Yes, uh, what was that Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, and uh, we will be. Uh, they will. That was that was really good. Um, but before we get into our show, I would like to uh, uh, thank our sponsor, Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Statistically, this game was very interesting. John? You know, um, shots on goal in the first period, Milwaukee out, outshot Belleville 19-7. to seven. Um, In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Belleville 13-10. to 10. In the third period, Belleville outshot Milwaukee ten to nine, and Milwaukee outshot Belleville a total of forty one to twenty seven. Belleville went over uh, over oh. five on the power play with eight penalty minutes and four infractions. Milwaukee went two for four on the power play with ten minutes five infractions. All right. Um, on top of that, let me add in that the uh, best person, I would really like to thank him today. He should, uh, I think he was announced as the Admiral's high energy player of the game. But um, Marcus Derby on the penalty kill, man. He, he, he is something else. He is a puck hound in, in the, on the penalty kill. I, I don't know how he does it. Um, I think I saw him clear the puck like eight times <laughs> yeah. the game during the penalty kill. Um, scoring in the first was Jakub Kondalik with an assist, uh, his first North American goal with an assist from Jordan Gross, his fifth, and Tim Schaller, his first. Then Egot, Igor Afanasiev, got his second of the season with an assist from Mark Jankowski, his he has had a point in every Admirals game so far. And Marcus Nermi was his third. In the second period, Phil Tomasino scores his second, uh, assisted by Jordan Gross, his sixth, and Tommy Novak, his first. That was on the power play. And then Belleville gets on the board from Rourke Chartier, um, assisted by Scott Saborin and Cole Reinhardt. Uh, it, it was it was a uh, Hocktoberfest. It was Reinhardt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to make the joke. Uh, then scoring in the third at the two thirty eight mark was Jake Luchin with his third with an assist from Robbie R- Robbie uh, Harventine and uh, Lassie Thompson. Uh, then scoring on an empty net with a puck that was literally passed right to him by the other team. <laughs> yeah was Mark Jankowski scoring in his fourth straight game with a goal. Uh, your three stars of the game, uh, Rourke Cartier with a with a goal, uh, Jakub Kondalik with a goal, and Igor Afanasiev with a goal. Your attendees were first-round pick for the Ottawa Senators. I don't remember when he was picked, but I know he was picked by the Senators. just don't remember when. I'm sorry, second round pick by the Ottawa Senators of uh, the six foot seven hundred and ninety-nine pound goaltender from Denmark, Mads Sogard. 
Um, he stopped 37 out of 40. Very good night for a young goaltender. Yaroslav Askarov stopped 25 of 27. Yet another good night for Askarov. A big win for the boys. Um, you know, that, that goes a long way. These wins. Uh, the attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 3,256. Your referees were Jordan Deckard and Jonathan Shatarsky. Um, I broke it in his nose. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. That was Switowski, not Switarski. <laughs> but joke's still the same. Uh, Tyler Gregory and TJ Wow were the linesmen. Um, the Admirals this year are now three and two. So, uh, We'll see how this goes from here, but we have now worked our way into fourth place. It's a three-way tie, actually, for second, but nonetheless. Um, the Moose are up top of the division. The Iowa Wild are at the bottom. They are 0-2-0-2. Yeek. Um, a lot of people are happy that are not the Henderson Silver Knights who have already played seven games or one or and are one and six. So alrighty, folks. Um, I did want to make one little quick announcement. Um, tomorrow, um, uh, me and John are taking a personal day. So you guys will be getting graphics from us. I am healing this because two days out of the week. I haven't had, I'm not in mid-season form yet, and my whole house had a uh, cold, possible laryngitis, RSV, whatever you want to call it, and if I didn't catch it, I'm not going to have a voice to do a show tomorrow anyway. Um, only reason I did today is because we wanted to make the public announcement that we weren't going to be doing a show tomorrow. I will see you guys back on, I think it's Tuesday. I don't know when our next game is. Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> I don't have my phone next to me. Mine's up Just by the... Yeah. I'm going to turn it over to the stat lady. <laughs> well, our, our next game, that's for graphics, or which game? Uh, Preds or Admirals, doesn't matter. When the our, next podcast would be. Next Preds game is Saturday the 29th. No, after that. After that would be the 2nd of November, Milwaukee versus Rockford. I thought we played on the 1st. 2nd of November. Let me double check. And did it do? I swear there was a game in between there. No. No. Home game. Ah, yes, we played the 1st. It's the Preds and the Edmonton Oilers. At night, at eight o'clock at night. So our next show will be that the Preds and Oilers. Um, you will be getting that actually that show on Wednesday, um, along with the Admirals versus Rockford game, um, due to the game being late and the Admirals playing at ten thirty the next day. Um, so we will actually not be doing the show that night. Um, on the basis of scheduling. <laughs> All right. Um, it is very tough to do a show that goes till possibly that could start possibly around midnight to one o'clock, and then we're done by the time we're done uploading and we finally get to bed and we get to sleep and to wake up at ten thirty just to do it again. Um, our best bet is to just watch the game, go the next day, after the next game. The the Preds don't play on Wednesday, so there's your uh, updated. The next time you guys will see us is Wednesday, so she's actually right. <laughs> So there you go. I admitted it on camera. <laughs> See y'all later and thank y'all for watching.